would like to welcome you to the Impact Zone for tonight's contest featuring our guest, the Southview Cougars. And your original comments. In order to make tonight's contest as enjoyable as possible, please represent your school and community in a positive and respectful manner. That means follow the rules, speak and act responsibly, and show courteous respect for your fellow fans, the officials and coaches, the administrators and authority figures, and of course, your team and opponent. Let's make tonight's contest great by remembering that you respect the game. Ladies and gentlemen, we live in a great country with freedoms like no other. To honor America and to respect for all who have served this great country to defend these freedoms, we actually stand for the playing of our national anthem performed tonight by the Janelle Pep Band under the direction of Mrs. Stephanie Brower. Once again, we welcome you here to the Impact Zone, Genoa. And uh, Genoa Comet's taking on the Southview Cougars tonight. And uh, Todd Robinson's in with me tonight. Thank you, handsome man you are. <laughs> what were they calling you? Please please don't do that. What were they calling you? Eeyore. Eeyore. Yeah, there, that's what it was, Eeyore. I, I, don't, I don't, my panda, you know, my Winnie the Pooh things, I'm just not real good with anymore. So. Here we go. McKenna? Yeah. Uh, you can't do that, McKenna. Oops. 
That's going to be a Southview ball right there. Yep. And just get, get things started. Yeah, you're going to have Shinover, uh, Felis. Uh, 14 is Dorn. 20 is Rig. And 34 is Huffman for the uh, Cougars here. As they bring things in here. Uh, having a rough year so far. They only got one win this year. And... Uh, one of the one of the big things that they're going to have to worry about with uh, what Genoa is able to do is that monstrous penetration. That was a block right there. Right, got it. Yeah, we got uh, we were over at the TC game Saturday, and uh, basically State ranked uh, Toledo Christian there, and uh, Genoa girls played really well. I was very impressed. I, what hurt him in that game, as far as I was concerned, was the uh, boxing out in the second and third shots Toledo Christian was getting, and unfortunately, right there, Southview got a second and third shot and drew a foul. Exactly. And basically what we're talking about in the TC game is the second half of the game. Mm -hmm. Because I think Genoa played a spectacular first half. Oh, and they played well the whole game. It's just some of the a couple of the fundamentals like that that just really shows up as how important it is when you give someone two and three shots at the hoop each time down the court. That's just tough to come back from, or Amen. tough to overcome. Amen. Dorn puts them both in here, and they're, uh, looks like they're in a, in a little bit of a 1-3-1. One, one. You know, oh. You know that play is not supposed to work. We say it every time they do it, and it works every it time. It works every time. They lob it over. It's uh, <laughs> it's got steel me written all over it, but it gets there. She gets the ball, goes up strong, and draws a foul. McKenna just has this way about her yep. where it's like uh, she gets position and, and holds it. And the great thing is she's a freshman. Yeah. Oh, you know? They're only going to get better. Carrying, turnover. What? Well, it's not called carrying anymore. No. What, what do, do we, they yeah. call it now? Uh, there's all there's new names for it. I mean, you know these new kids and you know those new young, those real young refs like Mel Carrick and them. You know, we call it all different things now. Slogged her all the way to the hole and tried to dish it down to McKenna. Got kicked out of bounds. Start of an incredible week of basketball. We have like five games this week. Well, oh, good post. Good post. Can it turn? Oh. What did uh, we call there? Uh, traveling. Okay. Something happened and we just didn't see it. Yeah. So, you know, with the man to man full court press here, got a steal. Bingo. Addy oh. gets it, kicks it out to Bickle. Bickle back to Addy. And you know what the nice thing is on that? She didn't settle for just trying to put the ball up. She waited for the offense to kind of regroup right there. Yep. Now she's going to for three. One. Ooh. In and out. Oh, shoot. Ooh, oh. traveling there. You know, you and I could be pretty good roughs. <laughs> well, those are kind of obvious. <laughs> they were just little steps, but there were four or five of them. <laughs> Had a little tune, a little tune to it. Someone's got to step to the ball here. Quick step to the ball. Yeah. Okay. Addy takes her time, sets it back up. Very nice, very mature there. We've got a lot of young girls on this team that are mature beyond their age. Amen. Amen. You know, oh, Same here. pass again to her sister. <laughs> oh, and, and brought it back out because the shot wasn't there. She didn't have the position. Oop, tried to force it into Addy, tried to force it into McKenna, and it got stolen. Well, the one thing you worry about when you have that good a ball handling with such young kids is the gunslinger mentality, you know. And they got it a little bit, but they're they're fighting it too. So that's a, that's a good thing. Ooh, ooh, wow, nothing. You know, I like the way Bickle did that though. She just held her hands up and like, oh, she's running into me, and and uh, it's a good no call by the official, really. That's yes, going up and down and. Uh, Audrey Hoffman's bringing it up. She gets it over to uh, Morgan Rigg. Okay. Steps There's in front Pickle of that, again. It? Throws it up to Addy. Addy sets up. Yep, not there. She brings it back up. Gosh, I'm loving what they're doing. Just yeah. a lot of maturity on her part. I can just imagine this was practice, you know, since, you know, uh, Saturday. A lot more 
going to move the ball. We're going to keep the ball on our side of the uh, basketball court. Sets it back up again. Out front. And then to top back it off, to South, South Sea's not coming after him, though, really, either. You know? No. So, no, they're just kind of sitting back in their zone. It's going to be a low-scoring game. There's no doubt. There's Shalagadar. Oh, she got thumped on that one. Here comes number two. Boy, she just Wonderful. dribbled right through traffic very, very well. Was uh, Lacey Felis? Is that her name? Felis. Yeah. Felis. Oh, she walked. Check in for the Cougars. She's number 12, Lauren Holler. And for your comments. You got three seniors on the uh, Southview squad. And uh, I. I like, like we talk all the time about this this freshman and sophomore group that we got here at Genoa that uh, have, have just been able to, you know, put some really good ball handling together. And like you were just saying, I mean, they're very smart with what's going on out there. Nothing there. I kick it over. Nothing there. No. Look at that. Pick, nah, nice little shot. Boy. Nice arc. Lucy. That Lucy slogging her on that yeah. boy, she just arced that shot right up over she's, top the defender. She's a pure shooter. That was nice. Bring back memories for you there. No, I, no, I had I no shot. That. I know. I know. <laughs> I never got a chance to have a shot. <laughs> so, we'll take a quick break too. Here we got a lot of them too. Right now, five and two is our score. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Marty Sutter, president of Genoa Bank a locally owned community bank providing a full range of banking services. At Genoa Bank, we believe a bank should do more than just conduct business. We generally care about the communities we serve and we take our hometown commitment to heart. Our biggest investment will always be in you, whether it's a personal account or business. Genoa Bank is committed to outstanding service. We want to know you by name and help you with all your banking needs. Genoa Bank, we take your banking needs personally. Five to two is our score right now. You got Mike and Todd tonight on a Monday night. <clears throat> Start of our five game per week week. <laughs> yes, busy week. And it's it's just going to be like that till the third week of February. And it's going to be so we got a month of this. I don't mind. I don't mind. I could do basketball games every night, but I want to play. That's my problem. Well, got it right to somebody who's been getting the ball a lot here, Bickle. She has a way of scrapping. She's just that player you want on your team that scraps, gets rebounds, gets loose balls, does all the dirty work, so yep. to speak. You know, just just does a lot of good things. You always there's always a spot for that player on your team. If there's one short side on this team right now, I think it's their three-point shooting. They, uh, they're hot and cold. Yeah, and when someone sets back in a zone like this, we're still stuck at five-two. You've got to have some outside shooting to open it up yep. a little bit. Schlagerter gets a jump ball for Genoa here with, uh, I think that was Michaela Thorne. Kira Combs in, number 23. And she's a very good three-point uh, three shooter, too. Yes. Lucy Schlagerter, ooh. Nice left hand. Didn't go, couldn't finish, but uh, took it to the hole. I think it's Phyllis. 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 That's okay. what they just said. Got Dave up on camera tonight doing a nice job as always. Kicks out. Good heads up play by Audrey Hoffman. She uh, screened it off so the ball went out of bounds and saw if you kept control. Oh, but She has no trouble bringing it up against the press. No, not at all. Now, as soon as I say that, then we get that. 
she's not afraid. She comes right up the court, dribbles through traffic, and uh, that's the first time she's kind of booted a little bit, but they still maintain control. And Audrey Huffman, you know, she, she's able to work inside real well, but she gets there it outside, go. too. Ooh. McKenna with a Todd Robson rebound. Boy, all the way to the hole, and then oh, got it to her sister, kicks it over to Kara, takes it to the hole. Oh, did not go. McKenna with the rebound, back up, strong. Oh, and it didn't fall oh. either, but drew the foul. I'm liking it, though. I'm seeing she more scares offensive me. rebounds. <laughs> I mean, Todd, you scared me a little bit when we were out there a little bit, but I think she scares me more than you scared me because she can go left and right, and she's so strong. She gets that determined look on her face. She's going to the hole. Yeah, it's... Um, and she's a freshman. I, we have to keep reiterating that. I mean, we're going to be doing this for three years. Yeah. There's a lot of positives here. And, and not that this season, they're right there. What, they're tied for first, right? Yep. So, I mean, this season isn't out, and, and they're only going to get better. Exactly. A lot of away games. A lot of away games coming up. We'll be at uh, Mommy Thursday night. Good rebound. Now we're doing a better job rebounding. Yeah. Salty's not getting the second shot, so they, I believe you're right. They did work on that. Oh, oh nice oh, inlet. Nice. Oh, nice inlet. Yeah, McKenna just has a way, and, and she's been working on that finger roll and the little bunny shots like that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Foul on McKenna, though. That would be number two, I believe. You know, seems like you and I talk about this right about the same time every game. Do you notice that? Yep, there's two. Yeah. What are they going to do? And they're bringing her out this time. Normally, you left her in, remember? And she played the rest of the half with just... Uh... And that's another one of those things that comes with, you know, her being a sophomore. She's a freshman now. She's going to learn that, yeah, don't make that reach. Don't do not do some of those foul. I mean, yep. it's, it, it, it's cutting into her playing time. And she'll learn. She will get better. That's just a growing process. We're talking about five freshmen get a lot of minutes. Moving around up on top right here. Rig with it. Gets it back over to uh, Huffman. Five second call. Nope, she stepped out of bounds. Stepped oh, on the line, I believe. Number 32, uh, Lexi Dan Zizan. Dan Zizan. Dan Zizan. They're going 2-3 right now. And, uh, yeah, this is where having that outside shooting would really help. Oh. Uh, Phyllis coming back out. Yep. Easy, don't foul. There we go. Oh, they're tough, I'm telling you. Whoa! Guess she was feeling that one. Eddie with it now. Uh, I'm betting she sets up here and slows it down a little bit. No, now we got that outside shot we've been looking for. There oh. it is. Three That's points. Kayla Boyd with the Shinoa Bank. Taylor Automotive Family three point shot. Did I miss something? Oh, South they you, got it back. Yeah, Southview threw it out of I bounds. Did. I did. Tomorrow night we'll be in Maumee for the boys game as they take on the Panthers. And Thursday night the girls take on the Panthers at Maumee. We'll have that one for you. And I'm actually, I'm going to have a new play-by-play uh, -play guy with me. Ten-year-old Bryson. There you go. We're gonna. Where he wants to learn how to do this. There it Unbelievable. Is. <laughs> 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 
I want to start a new Fed team. Yep. That's the play. That's the only play we're going to use. I bet you Marty, uh, oh, Marty Schroeder would have problems getting rid of that one. <laughs> That's going to about do it for the first quarter here. Great first quarter for your Comet fan. Good, good stuff. And uh, we'll be back with more right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Join us at Historic Danny's Cafe Rossford. We're always serving your favorite food and drinks seven days a week. Opening at 11 a.m. Watch the best sports matchups on one of our many 80-inch TVs. Plus, you can enjoy great live entertainment. And opening in spring of 2024, Danny's Cafe Rossford is proud to announce our 3,000 square foot edition with a full stage, new kitchen, and much more. Plus a ballroom for your next special event. Danny's Cafe Rossford always has plenty of safe and well-lit parking. Located at 600 Dixie Highway in historic Rossford, across from Rossford High School. A little Copa Cabana, a little Barry Matt at the Copa. Copa Cabana. Good drum line here. And you get to hear it face on. Yeah, we are. I can hardly hear anything. <laughs> we, need, we need a different spot where it's not quite so loud for me. It just wouldn't be going to Genoa without that loud banging noise. No. It's I love the band and I uh, love the, uh, the drums right in front of us. And uh, it, it's what basketball is all about. So what do you think of that report? <laughs> I don't know if it's true or not, but Caleb Williams, uh, yeah, they're making well, a mistake if they don't. He'll lead him to a franchise Super Bowl. I don't know about that, but I do think he's the real deal. I'm a USC fan. I've watched him a lot. Probably watched uh, 20 of their games. Oh, they got it into Addy. Yep. On the floor. Scrum on the ball. Oh. Oh, nice. Lucy. Nope, scrapping a little over the back there, maybe got away with, but. They're getting there. And it, you got to give props out to Sylvania. Uh, they, they are very scrappy inside and not getting in foul trouble, which is good. Here comes Lucy again. Or Lexi, I'm sorry. Moving the ball pretty well, pretty well. That's a pop. Look at that. Is he on the rebound? Oh, oh, tripped up, fell on the ball. Ouch. As y'all got that smile on. Yeah, her you know state. what? I, she gets knocked down, kicked around, tumbled, elbowed, whatever. She always gets up smiling. Was your dad like that? No, he was. No, not yeah, at all. He would have got up and elbowed you. Exactly. <laughs> As you're going to the bathroom. <laughs> Anytime. Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered. He would have got you back. Uh. Oh, 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 she was on it. You waited too long to get it to her there. Yeah. Good idea. Good idea, but waited a little too long. Inside the Beckel. Up strong. Okay. No, didn't go. Sorry, folks, I screwed the clock up. I hit a wrong button, so we got to wait till it gets we get it down to 548. It's 6.45 right now. I think I hit too many buttons there with my big, my pause. Yeah. That's like me texting. I have the big thumbs. And yeah, hit it's nice. Where they, uh, they did not make that for big uh, ex-basketball players. Easy. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, she sure did. Izzy might have got away with one there. I think she kind of bumped her and kind of created that travel, but it will take it. And number three. Hey, Izzy has got to be somebody that it just it ruins a girl's day. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, it just does. Doesn't say a word to her, doesn't anything where I would I would trash talk the whole time I played. You never did. But uh, she uh, she is just, I could just see her making somebody so we don't want that pass again. Nope. That's a right idea, but not the pass. She might have wanted to bounce pass or something there. Jennifer, that's oh, that's her first. Got it. I thought it. Might be. K 
Kara in the corner, nothing there. Looking at Addie, she was not open. Now, it seemed like oh. so she shot a few more threes earlier in the season, but I have not seen Addie shoot the threes as not much. Not lately, right. you're right, you're right. Izzy to the hole, she's taking it to the net. Oh, rebound back up, Kara. Got the foul. <laughs> Good rebound, offensive wow. rebound. And I think in that exchange, Todd, you said every one of the girls' names <laughs> for some sort of rebound or something down there. You know what I mean? Well, I'm, I'm just excited that I think that that's been one area they've been deficient in, and I'm seeing a lot of improvement today. A lot of good boxing out. Yes. A lot of good boxing out. Thanks for the pop, by the way. Here misses the first one. McKenna back in for Izzy. Check it back in from the comments, December 25, Kenneth Morris. Really, the only her and uh, I missed them both. Well, they're making it tough. Tough, tough, tough. Oh! Adriana Williams is just all over Lacey. Is it, how'd you say it again? Felis? Fel Fellas. Fellas? And not letting her get the ball because she seems to be the spark plug for the Southview team. And, and uh, boy, Adriana is just, just hawking her, not letting her get the ball. And Lucy needs to get down a little bit farther towards the baseline to get a better angle on that entry pass. To I think she was trying to get into McKenna at the time. Got to get to improve that angle. And back to getting the ball outside and doing what they need to do out there. I like it. And a lot of ball movement. They've but well, that's about the seventh three. There's the three we've been waiting for from that. And yeah. he hit it. Genoa Bank Taylor Automotive family three-point oh, shot. And a true Genoa Bank shot man. there. They used all of the rim, all of the backboard, too. Yeah. McKenna oh. going, spin, drop step, up strong, through the foul. <laughs> she's got one speed once she's down there. One speed and one speed only. First one. Checking back into the Cougars, second 20, Morgan Gray. Oh, Adam Bolt. Nice touch. Geno again with the man to man full court pressure here. Oh, Oh. I like how Eddie's uh, yeah, keeping that girl intact down at the bottom on the backside flip because that, uh, that got him a couple of times during TC and then they got real smart. That's nice. Nice. Nice little pick and roll to the basket. Opened up the correct way. Got the ball right in stride and right up. Kept it up above her head. Didn't dribble. Just right in. Morgan Rigg with that one and uh, nice pass, nice. There's Lucy Schlager on the put. You know, I, I probably, especially those early in the game, should uh, shouldn't. I, I wouldn't be using that tra trap or using any of that press right now because. You're you're handling you're handling them pretty well, you know. When they get it into their 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 end of the court, McKenna up the court to Kara Combs. Oh, beautiful! Good heads up play. Yeah. Oh. Look up the court, find your teammate. And yeah, the now easy. they're pulling it off. Good. And I don't mean anything bad about that, but I think their defense is. Oh wow! Nice is that shot. three? Yeah. Number three, number one, Bank, Taylor Automotive Family three point shot. That was the rig one lady. <coughs> Excuse me. Addie bringing around front. 
Over to Kara. Back to Addy. Back to Lucy. That's five. Back to Addy. Six. Oh, oh tough angle, though. Tough angle. She got it there, but it was tough. And you and I know, as a playing the post, you don't want that pass down in your shins. You want it a little higher. Right. It's harder right. for the big guy to get it, or in this case, the uh, post player to get it when it's down your ankles. You want it, want it a little higher up there. You want to hit her in the hand wherever she's calling for it. You always, you always, you always love the uh, po uh, point guard or forward that would pass that in, that had that spin, and they would just nail it just right where it would just come right into the bread yep. basket. Yep. I miss those days when that those two shots of mine in all those years. <laughs> I was lucky enough to play on some teams that really didn't need me other than to blood and guts people. They didn't need me offensively. I was a hell of a water boy those days. Got her. Not sure on that. I thought Eddie did a solid job keeping her hands this straight up, but I'll tell you what this 14, uh, Michaela Dorn, Freshman plays, plays more mature than a freshman. Another sure. one for Southview here. She posts up well. Nice shot in the free throw. Nice follow through. Well, she is she is hardcore post. You know what I mean? She's constantly boxing out people, and she's really trying to make things happen that way. There you go. She just got her own. Miss shot and scrapping for the ball right now. Oh, we got a got a foul. Uh, yeah, they didn't call her for the foul. Ava Willis. <laughs> okay. Forty-four. Forty-four. Oh, with five fouls, everything's bonus. too shy. Yeah, bonus now. The BB. The BB. Bonus, baby. Beautiful shot. Andrew Brown. Looks good. A nice, nice free throw. That's nice, nice form, nice backspin. It looks yeah. good. Just didn't go that time, but good looking form. Now we're back to a pressure bringing the ball up here. Oh, yeah, I got it. Lucy with the steal, breakaway layup. And she got a good fake, drew the foul. That trap has just got them a ton of points and yeah. a ton of, ton of great unknowns here. And Lucy is just such a pure shooter. Does such a nice job. Bickle back in. Is he back in? Probably smart at this point. Nice shot, Lucy. Good form. It's her seventh point. To Dorn. Nice. She went right to the middle, kicked it over. They moved the ball real yeah. well, Todd. I just. I watch that and I, I see the good things that they're doing. I struggle that they only have one win, I think you said, correct? Yeah. And I'm going to find that out for sure. And I was talking to uh, the refs. Is he at the line? Nice back spin. Nice rotation. It's her first basket. She's first point. A lot of wrist in that shot. <laughs> Since my wrists don't work anymore, I could never do that. It's something uh, you know this summer for her to work on. I'd never have her work on it now, but I'd like, oh God, no. I'd like to see her oh, yeah. get the shot up higher. She's yeah. strong enough to do it. She's very athletic oh, yeah. and get the shot up above her head. 
but not now, not now. Keep doing exactly what you're doing, Izzy. Whatever you're doing, you're doing good. Yep. Main thing is staying healthy until uh, playoffs come up, you know? Yep, and Izzy just got a tip and almost a steal right there. She anticipates very well. Ooh, nice arc, nice shot there. Just didn't go, but boy, she did the right things. Ah. There's two offensive rebounds. We've been doing better with that. Ooh, nice little up and under over the back. Ooh, oh. another offensive rebound. Another over the back. That's staying here? I guess it is. Yeah, probably could have been two over the back calls right there. Right? Now, force that inside, and it's just a tough angle. You can just float it and bickles right there. Right there. there. Right. Like I said, she just always seems to come up with the loose ball. The, you know, if there's a ball on the ground, she's going to come up with it. If they're scrapping for it, she's going to come up with it. That's the hardest thing to do for one of the post people when they get a steal like that on their on their weak hand. Because, you know, she, she came all the way up left with that, and that's so hard to do because you've you got 10 people on you, basically. Everybody's, because normally if you're in a post position like that, you're not one of those zippy quickie guards, you know? Well, speak for yourself. I was kind of a zippy quickie guard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna drink that Hawaiian punch. <laughs> well, let's see where we're at here. 23 seconds left. Are they gonna just set it up, take Smear out of the ball and get one last good shot? Because you don't need to shoot it yet. What happened there? Oh. Offensive foul. Offensive foul. That's, that's on Izzy. Izzy. Izzy must have set a little bit of a moving screen. I did not see it, but I'm assuming that's what she clocked somebody. Okay. <laughs> she learned that from Dad. Oh, sure. But she's smiling. <laughs> Always. See. Oh, nice. Oh, nice little pass. Nice little runner. Yeah. Didn't go. And again, Bickle comes out of there with it. Wow, what a half. What a great half. And I, I think Todd Janelle was able to uh, show that they can control what's happening on the court. I think we got a basketball game. Hey, we got a couple of commercials. We'll be back right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Your halftime score, Genoa 27, Southview 8. If you're looking for fantastic Italian food along with old world hospitality and family traditions, D'Astasio's is your place. Located in Elmore, Ohio, Coach Mike D'Astasio and his family have become a fast favorite with pizza, lasagna, and other great old world Italian dishes. Stop out today or call them at 419-862-0404. D'Astasio's, 351 Rice Street in Elmore, Ohio. Graymont in Genoa, producers of doclamide lime and hydrate, serving the community for over 90 years. The plant currently has 60 employees. The safety and development of these employees is a focus for your plant. Over 80% of our employees currently live within 11 miles of the plant. Graymont, for more information about this company, you can check us out on the web at www.graymont.com. Mommy Bay Turf Center. We build better. Mommy Bay Turf Center, a leader in synthetic sports surfaces as well as natural field construction, maintenance, and renovation. Mommy Bay Turf is part of Turf Nation, the most trusted source in the synthetic turf industry, including creating the surface for the biggest game in pro football. From professional, college, and high school sports to recreation and commercial projects, check them out at mommybayturfcenter.com and see our large collection of finished projects and services. Mommy Bay Turf Center. We build better. 
Different problems require different solutions. Seagate Roofing and Foundation Services has been solving water problems for over 30 years. We have the expertise to provide you with the best solution. Seagate replaces foundations, straightens walls, lifts sinking foundations, and waterproofs basements. Get your free estimate before you make a decision because you deserve to have all the facts. We are the local experts. 244 L-E-A-K-C Blackberry Corner on the corner of 579 and Elliston Road is a proud sponsor of Genoa Football and has the best burgers, chicken, and pizza. Uh, you know the pizza. Everyone knows the pizza. Blackberry Corner also has charbroiled pork ribs and Jim's famous chicken dinners. Whether it's appetizers, pizza, or a full dinner, the great folks at Blackberry Corner can help fill you up and save you money. Stop out to Blackberry Corners on the corner of State Route 579 and Elliston Road for a meal or just a snack.
got about two minutes before we get started into the uh, second half of this ball game. You got Mike Jamison, you got Todd Robinson, you got Dave up on camera tonight, and uh, you, you got a Comets team that's playing pretty damn good basketball right now. Very much so. I'm going to be hard for me to hear right now. I'm here. <laughs> no, just move it right up there. Just move it up on you. There we go. So they, they always set us down right by the uh, band, and uh, I love that. I actually love it. You know, it just brings back memories because before I was the athletic basketball stud that I was, I was a band geek. There you go. And I loved every second of that. You know, I played the big old trombone. If you'd have stayed in that, you wouldn't have had bad hips and knees and stuff, ankles, all that other stuff. Ironically, I'd have probably had a bad lip, but... That would have made it an upsetting time for all my friends like you. You know, I couldn't talk a lot, so it would have worked out good. I think what uh, Genoa's got to do here is basically sh shut down the middle that they, what you were talking about, and uh, Southview was able to uh, get some... Uh, some second and third offensive rebounds in there. They they got to make sure that don't happen. Yeah. That's Notre Dame's fight song too, isn't it? Yeah, that's Notre Dame's fight song, right? It's a lot of people's fight song. <laughs> <laughs> I always ask you because you are you are a sports no. Yeah, you know your stuff. And and at this time it's that it's that time of the night when we get ready to start the third quarter, the band is going to the concession stand. And it's up to us to entertain them. Did you wow. bring your pan flute with you? No, I did not. <sighs> that Zamfir. Zamfir and his pan flute. Uh, uh, we're going I, way back. You have to have an old audience to remember yes. that. Yeah, this is true. Hey, but there is YouTube because you'll, you'll get to see it on YouTube. Getting ready to start here. And uh, this ball is going to go over to the Cougars. Southview Cougars. I see Craig Meister sitting on the bench, one of the assistant coaches over there. Craig's a dear friend of mine from the old Cardinal Stritch days. And uh, he always took really good care of us with the Toledo Sports Network back when uh, we were able to do a lot of games with with them. Now it's, you know, it, we went through the huddle deal where everybody wants to be on huddle now. Mm -hmm. But, you know, other than when we were at Lake that night, uh, we aren't really having any problems getting in anywhere. That's Everybody good. wants That's us good. in there now. So we they act like we have some sort of, uh, we're kind of like Sports Illustrated before they shut us down. <laughs> you know, Schlager, I love Drop it. step, left, ooh, a little short. Oh. McKenna almost got that rebound, went off out of soft view. It just doesn't matter. She always seems to have a hand on the ball. Yeah. She's you a know. scrapper. Out to her sister Addie. She's posted. Not a good oh. angle. Not a good angle. I got her now. Oh. <laughs> She's the strongest kid I've seen in a long time. I'm just, I'm very impressed with her. Yeah, if you don't have two or three really good ball handlers, when that ball gets down low in a corner like that, it, it's over. Dorn posting up. Yeah, see, they just they just can't do anything inside there. They're trying. Three. Oh, they got it back. Yep. Schlager brought it, the rebound that brought it down, and it was stolen from her. Now well, Huffman's the one that's taking the shots and. She's another girl that can play the post position really well, too. And uh, she moves the ball around a lot for them. That's way off. Eddie's not letting that one go. Give it to little sis. 
Boy, I can imagine the fights those two got into on a basketball court in the front yard. <laughs> Woo! But it's made them what they are. Oh, amen. Amen. Their house is probably orange. You know, it's probably orange. Just to let them... Oh. Right idea, aggressive, but just dribbling into the center of the zone is, you know, there's there's other ways to do this. I don't, back in the day, we used to run overload, and you would have somebody at the foul line and somebody at the block and somebody in the corner, and you always want that triangle. I don't, I don't see that no. too much. Okay. All right, I went out. Yeah. It was a five-second call coming any second, so. Correct. Huffman's going to bring it out and get it off to uh, Phyllis. Got everything set, right? I'm actually running the clock pretty good tonight. I'm so proud of myself. Not many times I say that. <laughs> oh, nice block by Addy. Yep. Bringing it up the floor, looking up the floor. Emerson over in the corner. Oh, she takes it all the way. Oh, coast to coast and draws the foul on Dorn. See, that's that's the one thing about Addy and that one-year difference there. She comes up, she can go left, she can go right, and she can shoot left or she can shoot right once she gets down under the under the rim like that. Incredible dot job. Left it short. Lucy dribbles into traffic. Dorn takes off the freshman center, takes off with it. She's going coast to coast. Oh. Foul on McKenna. That would be her third. Now, I think that was on Slogater. I don't know. They were both. Oh, I was. I'll never. I'll never I'm That's sorry. That's why you paid me the big bucks. I, I'm sorry. I, you think I learned my lesson, huh? They've got to be able to move that ball a little bit more. Nice little jump shot. Didn't go. Rebound. Oh, scrap. Whoa. Ooh. Wow. Addie, I think, was a little frustrated that that young lady took it away from her and really blocked that shot. She's lucky, <laughs> She's lucky she didn't. That was. I mean, that was a helicopter arm there for a second. <laughs> Ooh, Izzy almost. She anticipated that and almost took off the other way with it. Nope. Now we didn't box out there, which is uncharacteristic of Emerson Bickle. She normally is, that she's my scrapper. I'm a big fan of hers, the way she plays. That time she didn't have the box out. Lauren Holler was who made that happen for Southview because she got that rebound that you were talking about. And they got it back over to Dorn so she could uh, put it up. Now she's got a chance to put a couple of uh, free throws in. Nice. Okay. And, and good idea. Kara Boyd coming in for McKenna. With, she has three fouls with only five minutes into the second half here. So, or only three Kayla minutes. Boyd. Kayla, Kayla Boyd. Kayla Boyd. I'm sorry. I know the, uh, the West Bunch up there yelled at me. So. Because they, they, they go over our, our videos with a fine tooth comb. You know they do. You know. They eat like a 10-course meal as they watch the game. So it's probably two, three hours, you know. They have to pause it, you know, when they're putting mayonnaise and gray papon on their stuff. You know, counts, like 30 seconds out. We'll stay here, 30-second timeout. I want to get some big thanks out. Hey, if you ever need anything done in your house, uh, like, you know, carpeting or flooring or window treatments, I know you're big on window treatments. I know that <laughs> you're a big window treatment kind of guy. Uh, a Genoa Custom Interior, in, Custom Interiors, incredible people, and uh, they've helped us out over the years, the gross jeans, and everybody over there. And I actually, I don't know if you've been to the house since I put the new carpeting in the back I have not. Where the fireplace and everything is. Very small little area, and they had some extra remnant-type carpet that worked out perfect for me because that's kind of where my dog's at. So, sure. you know, if things happen, things happen. And I was able to put it in myself. I did a pretty good job for a home improvement kind of guy, you know. And, uh, uh, you know, our custom interiors, great, great people. And uh, I think we're going to do wood floors next. 
in the living room or in the uh, kitchen. There you go. I've Most of my house is wood except for the family room now. I'm getting there. I'm thinking about it. I hit my 120-gallon uh, fish tank. Yeah, yeah. it cracked. So we're gonna. I'm going to have to bring all my muscle guys over here one Saturday after we do the radio show and at least move it to the dining room table. Oh, that was a... I don't know about that one. Uh, Alyssa Shiniver, but... I guess they're calling that a reach. But what I did like there was Izzy was posting up and posting up and making herself big. A lot sure. of times she just kind of stands straight up. That time she was making herself wide and posting and, and uh, got the ball because of how she did that. Jump ball stays here. I've noticed that the last two games more out of her, two or three games, she's posting up, making herself, taking up space on the block and making herself wide to, to get the ball. Call. She'll go to the line. She's your garbage girl, right? She, I, yep. I hate to use that word, but she, no, just, she gets all the. I mean, you know, she reminds me of back in the day was Mark Carr. Oh I'm telling gosh. you what, Mark Carr. If there was a loose ball on the ground, somehow he always came up with it, gave you two or three head fakes, and then shot the ball in the basket. And he, it went in. And it went in. Yeah. It just, just it always went in. Yeah. There you go. I uh, affectionately call uh, Brunkhorst uh, on the boys' team. I call him the trash man. Okay. And I was walking by him before the game, and I said, I go, what's up, trash man? And, and I go, I said, dude, if you don't want me to call you. He goes, no, everybody's called me trash man now. I love it. And I said, cool, cool. That's a long three. What do we call there? Uh, I don't know if it's a call or it's just a whistle blow. What's coming this way? Number 23. I don't believe that uh, Southview should keep this press on. I'm just saying that, but I'm just saying that. And we need somebody. Okay, Kira went to the middle. Okay. Ah, missed it. Had two down there. Yep. Ooh. Oh, nice shot, Kara Combs. Kara Combs. A little head fake, up and under, went up and pulled up for the late footer and drained it. I've seen you do that so many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even when you weren't on the basketball <laughs> court, you did that. I mean, uh. Ooh. Okay, box out, rebound, Addy, bringing it up, looking up the floor, nothing there. So super high rebounds that make it kind of tough. Uh, she's Oh, nice oh. little dish. Nice. Oh, oh come on, is extend. Good pass, Addy. Addy waited too long on that, way too long, and and then I tried, and, and then Izzy tried to spin it up there, which that's, that was a very difficult shot. Three eighteen uh, left to go. We've got another timeout. Cougar timeout here. That's a Cougar timeout. Let's make sure I got all these done. And I'm gonna I'm gonna run our Gladio commercial because. Ron Gladio is one of my dearest friends and uh, helps us do all of this great stuff. And uh, I got some good friends. Boy, I'll tell you, I don't know why you guys stick around me, but we'll be right back. Stop struggling with the big box stores. Choose Gladio. A hardware store gets so much more. Your home improvement answer store. A place to design your interior space. A professional and friendly smiling face. Everything you need for your home. Gladio is locally owned. You'll be glad to know. Gladio, Gladio Home Center. Right now is a great time, you know, with all of this water and everything oh. we're getting right now. To, you know, Seagate Roofing, who's been with me 30 plus years, uh, you know, they're making, they're starting to get everything signed up and you know sure. they can they can do roofs right now too but waterproofing the basements right oh, now it's it's yeah. everybody's having problems exactly right now. The, i don't know what all they encompass but if they do some pumps and that kind of oh, stuff they do those are the those are the things you want to have checked out and make sure you have a backup and all that kind of stuff right now folks oh. got it never knew it was coming whoop 
Okay. Wow. They stayed calm and got out of it. They were wow. trapped. Wow. And again, I'm not sure, you know, what's going on here because the Lacey, uh, again, fellas, she's down on the block and she really handles the ball well and she's not getting the ball oh, out there. Right. And I, I, I'm not sure I understand that from Southview's perspective. She's very quick, very agile, handles the ball well, and she's down on the baseline. Kayla Boyd had the foul there. That was her first foul. Shinever up at the corner. And yeah, they've got that inside pretty well cleaned up. There, there it is. Oh, didn't go, but good looking shot. They they're trapped. Woo. Oh, good outlet. Back nice. over to Combs. No, that's not Combs. I'm sorry. That's Brower. Over to Brower, yeah. You know, and Combs could have taken that shot, and she didn't rush it. She just backed it back out. Oh, Addy. Oh, nice little pass, Addy. Rebound. Back up, Kara. Oh, did not get it to go. She'll be thinking about that one tonight. Yeah, that one got away from her. And a. Easy two, and it just didn't go. Roll off. If it was easy, everybody would do it, though. I sure. missed my share of those, that's for sure. I don't know, Todd. Oh, oh there you go. There, see? That, that's a, that's a that Lacey again. She's she's a player. And that, she, she should be getting the ball a little more and be handling the ball. Oh, nice. Oh, got Lucy, it. yeah, nice, nice. Got fouled and went up strong with it and finished. Now she's going to go to the line for the chance of the old-fashioned three. I thought they I thought there was a three on the other end, but I guess it wasn't. Gonna earn three the hard way here. We'll have this one up on YouTube in about two hours tonight. Unless somebody wants to go to the Kegger Moe's or something, then it might be three hours. This <laughs> is four or five or ten. Oh, fierce. But she got through it. That's that Lexi uh, Danzizen. Danzizen. I think I was saying that right. Oh, anticipation by Combs. Oh, oh. She stood on. just stepped on the line there. She baited that and had a breakaway. Just stepped on the line. Kept her from that. But good anticipation. Well, the superiority of uh, with Genoa right now is the backcourt. They've, they, their backcourt has just played really, really well. And, uh, you know, numbers-wise, uh, not monstrously big numbers, not a lot of points up there, but uh, uh, Schlager's got nine. She just fed it up. Oh, oh, good idea. Addy, that's coming. Nice shot. That's a three. And I like to see that. I said earlier in the year she shot more of those, and, and she hasn't now, but she's got the nice shot. That's, That's her second or third three, isn't it? I, second. Second? Okay. Yeah, she got 10 points right now. That's Genoa Bank. Taylor Automotive Family three point shot. And, uh, oh. 28 seconds left to go here in this third quarter. Now, again, this is another opportunity. I'd like to see Genoa just come down, set it up. Take 25 seconds off, and with three seconds left, take a shot where you got a chance for the rebound, and they just turned it over. Okay. <laughs> Best laid plans go to waste. <laughs> I got to tell you, uh, Ben Frobo has helped us out with uh, some of our games, and of course, our Eastwood games. and. And uh, Ben turned me on to his uh, IGA store. Oh yeah, their 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 fried chicken. Have you ever had it? I have not. It is unbelievable. Really? It's the best fried chicken I've ever had in my life. Huh? And um, I I bought it about a week or so. I went down there and uh, bought just a couple of chicken breasts. And I ate one on the way home. And I put it on the I put the other one on the uh, uh, countertop. And my cat ate it. Ooh. The whole thing. I mean, not the bone part. I don't. I, I was so upset. So I went and got some more, and that was my uh, dinner last night. 
Uh oh, here oh, we go. Nice. Breakaway. Nice. nice finish, and more importantly, like I like to see, looking up the four for your teammates. I like it. Oh! Fired that up there. Almost. Almost. And speaking of that, uh, I think back in September, I bought a quarter side of beef from Frobos. And being the nice guy I am, and how nice Ben is to me, I'm going to run the Ben commercial right now. All right. We'll be back with more right here on the Toledo Sports Network. For the best meats around and the best price, get to Frobos Meat Locker on Front Street in Pemberville. Frobos family features homegrown meats, and they make a whole bunch of different kinds of items and they have over 200 different kinds of handmade items not to mention for Obos meat locker is definitely a bratwurst paradise they have over 125 different brands of bratwurst to choose from be sure to check them out on facebook or visit their website frobosmeatlocker.com see now i'm hungry and i'm hoping and praying that there's one chicken breast left <laughs> when I go home and I think I've because my, my cats are very smart they know how to open you know they know how to open the doors to the refrigerator and uh, and uh, or my dog does that so you know I like this mix now by the coach getting a few more of the youngsters in getting them some minutes getting them some experience but still keeping some stability with a couple of the older girls in. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Pick call. Oh, she got mug. Oh, when they foul at Southview, they foul. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Well, there's no sense getting cheated. I was oh, never exactly. one to foul soft. I mean, if you're going to you get five, they don't carry over to next week. That's true. So, and, and the one thing with women, too, you know, they probably have big fingernails, too. Oh, yeah, that, that could be. Williams, they are going to get it into. And she just, she spins around like a, a pirouette there on one pivot foot the whole time. Man, if we could have spun like that when we were playing. Whew. The thing again, it might have messed up the peach baskets that we're playing on. That's going to be Genoa Ball. That was tipped off south here. Yep. You know, and I like to see 32 Ava in. I, I like her game. I think she brings something to the table. But the tough part for her with a couple of good ball handlers ahead of her, she might want to start looking at maybe playing the shooting guard instead of the point guard, you know, to get herself some more minutes. Yep, exactly. Because I think she does some good things, plays smart, handles the ball well, but probably not going to be beating out Lucy. You know, but who knows? You don't know. I mean, they're all young and they're growing and maturing. And because yeah, Lucy is a freshman too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's they really well, got about eight freshmen. Yeah, that's incredible. This girls team here kind of reminds you a little bit, bit of the Rossford boys team that started five years ago yeah. for, but you know, and, and and the same thing they had when they had the plants and bench and Sam Sutter and all of those guys here too. It was just, boy, just those makeup groups that don't happen very often. You know, and the tough part is, and you, and you hope it works, but when you have eight freshmen and you have, you know, the people, there's, you start, getting frustrated and worrying about right. playing time and you, you really want to see this group of girls stay together you Amen. really want that you know and, and it's hard you come out and you practice every day and you only get five minutes in a game or something but you know what they, they have so much going for them so many positives wow. I hope that they can all stay together and this group can play together for three more years or two two to three more years would be Really exciting for Genoa. Kenna? When we were uh, when we were at uh, TC Saturday, uh, Coach Cullop was there from the University of Toledo. Yep. yep. Got to talk to her for I a little saw bit, that. I saw and that. Uh, she's really excited with a lot of the stuff that's coming out of the Northern Buckeye, and uh, she was very impressed with uh, this Genoa team. And, and you know what, I, I, 
it was a great game. And, you know, they had the one stud at, at, at TC, but yeah. other than that, I, I thought Janelle was maybe man for man a better team all the way across, but, you know, failed in a few of the fundamentals, failed in a few of the rebounds, and uh, gave them second and third shots, and it hurt them. And, you know, and they only lost by three to a state ranked team. That's you know, incredible. Yeah, yeah. They, they could have easily won that game if they had have got a little better boxing out job and not given up a couple of those second shots. Right. A lot of movement still here. A lot of movement. Settle down, Ava. Good job. Now, nah, she didn't, you know, see now McKenna didn't have her on her hip. The girl was free to step in front of her. You got to get well, she had patient. Two girls. She had two girls on her. No, that's really. true. And she's going to get, get used to that because she's going to see that more and more. The better she gets, the more she's going to get double teamed. That's, that's her future, and she's got to learn to work with that. Forty to twelve is our score right now, and that'll make her a better passer, a better player, a better everything as she gets double teamed and learns how to find the open person. Because you know, there's five people if two are guarding you, then someone has to be open. Exactly. Oh, another miss. Slow down, settle down. Over to McKenna. She's going to the. <laughs> there it is. Oh, little jump shot. Nice look. Nice look. I thought she was going to go all the way to the basket, but she uh, pulled up and took a little six-footer. And it was a nice-looking shot. A nice-looking shot. Just didn't go, but a nice-looking shot. Oh, come on. There we go. Pickle with the rebound. Emerson taking it to the horse. Oh, she carried it. They called her for carrying it. Maddie's back in, and Ava's in. It's just nice to have that deeper bench. You know? Oh, yes. Looks like Kylie Pennington's getting ready to come in. I played ball with her dad many, many, many years ago, Scott. Oh, yeah. Ooh, McKenna looking nice. up to her sister, going to the left side. Oh, no, she didn't. I thought she was crossing over to going left. She finished right-handed. 42-12, 4 left to go in this contest. Don't forget, tomorrow night we'll be at uh, Mommy. Another steal. Kelly Pennington, Izzy West coming in. Mort's sister's going out. It's probably it for them. I don't know, but. I think all that's needed to be proved with the Mort's girls is done for the day. You know, it's uh, just don't want anybody well, to get hurt. Izzy's pound, but doing a much better. I love it. Doing a nice job posting against the, the physically bigger 14, the Dorn girl. How tall is the Dorn girl? She's 5'10. And every bit of that, she looks maybe a little taller than that, but. Yeah, because she is 5'7. Boy, there very go. nice. Again, I, I don't know why that, that Lacey fellas doesn't handle the ball more because she just rolled and dished it in oh, the door. Oh, that it went off a of door, and that's going to stay here. Nice job by Pennington getting that ball to go off of uh, a door. Great job. That's double uh, dribble. Ava stops. She, we do that sometimes. We'll put the ball down one time and then yeah. think about it and then realize, wait, I got an opening, and then go to take it again. And err. too many times I do see Genoa do that. Just dribble one time. And if you're not, if you're only going to dribble one time, you're not getting anywhere, and you just handcuffed yourself. It's another one of those. Nothing. Another one of those learning things. Again, they're all young. Torn with the rebound. Back up strong. Didn't get it. 
Ah. Uh, so we might be seeing a little of that inexperience again now with the younger girls in yeah. there. We didn't box out very well, gave them a second and a third shot just then, and drew a foul. <clears throat> Got a timeout. Busy, busy week. I, as a matter of fact, I got to go to the, uh, the clock here or see exactly what we got going on. Huge week of basketball. We've got Monday's game, Southview, here. Tomorrow, Genoa boys are at Maumee. Thursday, Genoa girls are at Maumee. Friday, Rossford boys coming here to Genoa to the impact zone. And then Saturday, Ottawa Hills girls are going to take on the girls Saturday. Here. Yeah, here, now, here. Is, is Thursday or Saturday the game you're going to have the, uh, your guest announcer? My guest announcer, Bryson's going to be in. Uh, Bryson's 10 years old, and he'll be, uh, and his mom is actually running camera. See, I'm getting the whole family involved I now. So I said, listen, here, I'm going to take you out for some Mexican food. And this is what you have to do, you know. So they were hungry. I, I was kind of curious why I didn't get any food. Oh, well, well, great question. Oh. Into Dorn, over, back, long. Alpha Izzy. We'll work on that, though. Okay. We will. We will. Because I'm very food-driven. <coughs> well, that's, yeah. Another, another offensive rebound. 258 left to go in this one. 42 14 is our score. That's on Pennington. Oh, nice inside. Oh, Dorn with the rebound and back up again. We're not boxing out. That's another set, second shot for a layup. I think Southview's going to bank on her. She's going to be somebody very special. Yep, down the road. Oh, nice crossover by Izzy. Oh, oh the shot did not go, but a little crossover right in front of Dorn and went right to the basket. Almost an ankle breaker. Yeah. Almost, almost. Her dad's up there cringing right now because she didn't finish. But, yeah, I but know. really nice crossover dribble and went right by her, right, right to the basket. Well, there were times in our Fed League when Izzy would come to the games, and I'm sure she cringed every once well, in a while. I'm sure she did too. But she did. But Dale never played defense like Izzy does. She just sees the whole floor real nicely. One fifty-six. Kara Combs back in for Izzy West. No, I, th I think the Dorn is, is a Southview future right here. She definitely has some tools. Oh. And and quite honestly, the fellas girl is only a, a what a, a junior or no a sophomore. Sophomore. Wow. So you ha yeah. you have two right there that that stick out in my mind is is uh, definitely with some skills. Into Dorn again for another layup. Wow. The problem once again comes down to keeping these girls as a team mm -hmm. through the summer. Yep. You know, through the practices, playing the, you know, in the what they call it, Fed ball or AAU ball AAU now or now. what they, you got to do that. You know, you got to do it. And uh, just depending on, you know who your coach is and get you involved in those kind of things it just uh it makes it so big for all the girls oh no nope. yeah. nice. nice little runner in oh, no. Brower with Brower. It. Nice little runner in the lane. 
44-18. Uh-oh, another steal. Combs with it, Kira for Ava. Oh, nice look, Ava. Oh, too far under, too far under, Kira. I just, as I look there, Audrey Brower with the same face as Izzy there, the big smile and there's this little <laughs> contact and just, okay, it's all good. And she just smiles. Ava. Oh, you missed your chance there, Ava. That's going long. Let's get it up and uh, finalize this game. Yep. 20 seconds left. You know, set something up and run. <clears throat> One good play here. <laughs> Just dribbling the clock out. Okay, good for them. <laughs> Forty-four, eighteen is our final score tonight. Genoa on top of uh, Southview, and you know, Todd, we said it. There's a lot of good things happening with Southview there, yeah. and uh, their inside game, I think, is going to be something special. They got to work on the, uh, they got to work on their dribbling and, and that outside game. But uh, I think Genoa came in tonight and uh, decided they wanted to make a, make a statement. Yep. 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 Great game, great game for him. Great game. Todd, thanks for coming in tonight, buddy. Hey, thanks for having me. I'll, uh, I'll look for the food the next time. <laughs> Dave did a wonderful job on camera, and uh, we are done. Folks, we'll see you tomorrow night as we will be in at, uh, at uh, Maumee High School for the boys game. God bless and take care, everybody.